So our next speaker is Majita. Um, she's with Angelsang um, in Germany. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. The floor is yours. Thank you. Okay. I would like to say it's time for a seven minute toilet break. It's time for a break in the way we are currently implementing toilet solution in rural areas across the globe. The UN Sustainability Goal 6.2 strives to achieve that by 2030, access to adequate sanitation and hygiene for all, and the end of open defecation for the 700 million people left behind who are still shitting unprotected in the open. The United Nations and the World Health Organizations are claiming that at the current speed and approach, this goal will not be met. I will talk about redesigning toilets today. Toilets are getting built at the moment by expecting the user to change their existing behavior and to adapt a solution. So the problem is, we built one solution for many and expect it to work but we fail to give them the right solution and they abandon it. So the abandonment rate of toilets is, is a figure that I've been looking up for a long time and I couldn't find anywhere. And even I asked that question yesterday at the World uh, Toilet Summit and Jack Sim, the founder of the World Toilet Organization answered me that this is actually a fact that even governments are not revealing because they don't want to exactly share how big the um, failures are. So the question is now, what is the right solution and what could the future of better designed toilets look like? What approach can work? So um, I like to refer to a startup and business term because there uh, often it's said that the product market fit is the biggest problem for a product failure. And the product market fit failure means basically that a product doesn't fit the market and thereby is not accepted by the user. So by starting to see these 700 million people as customers who need a fitting and individual product, which needs to be carefully designed for their needs is the start. So I like to uh, take this moment to now finally introduce myself. So I'm uh, Madita and I'm a product designer and definitely not a home pooper, so to say. Uh, together with my husband, Nikhil, we are the founders of the innovation hub iDesign based out of Bombay and Berlin. And as social design uh, consultants and designers with diverse background, we focus on development projects around the world, having lived in rural settings ourselves and worked directly with locals we have developed a holistic three-step approach to achieve a high success yielding design interventions. But uh, now a quick question um, about something that many of you said before. So who of you would like to use uh, a toilet like that? Or would you also rather just continuing uh, defecation in the open? So this is the question, how does a toilet need to look like? You know, it's nice to say, okay, we want to use a, a Ökosan toilet, but how does it need to look? How does it need to work now? Uh, how do we make it as desirable as, for example, a mobile phone? Uh, since one style do not fit all, we have to look at the diverse local communities as our customers to customize and carefully design toilet solutions for their needs that make them accept, use, and maintain it. So now to our approach. Uh, it starts with talking toilets. So communicating, oops, sorry for that, communicating the toilet usage and upkeep in a way that it's easily understood by the people of various backgrounds, incorporating toilet usage instructions into the physical toilet, ensuring that the chosen forms and materials communicate with the user. Number two, local for local. It is essential to welcome the reality of constraints of behavioral and material alongside working jointly with local 
committees to drive innovative solutions that fit with each local communities. Thinking local and involving the affected communities before and during planning and implementation, keeping lo no, uh, local knowledge and customs in mind. And point number three is the smiling user. Create a desirable product that ensures long-term usage. Designing a behavioral change alongside infrastructural change is a pivotal to the success for long-term usage. Creating an intuitive, human toilet interaction, as I would like to say, um, that enhances the individual's and the community's sense of pride and determination to adapt this new infrastructure facility. So <laughs> finding a product market fit is hard, but doable. This tag is one that we can accomplish by all of us, if we have a holistic approach to making a difference for a better future, keeping in mind local, easy, and desirable. And I'm confident we can yield great results. So let's start measuring success by how many have adopted the adapted fitting solution instead of just how many have been forced to adopt a standard toilet. So, Let's stop the toilet break we are in and start acting by involving designers in the process. Let's build toilets that are local, easy and desirable. And because of that, accepted, used and maintained.